Hello everyone, welcome to another video. On this video, we are going to be talking about how we can optimize Google Performance Max campaigns. If you're not sure what's a Performance Max campaign or if you don't have one, I have another video, I left it in the description, I will also put it on the screen so you can click there and watch that to create your first Google Performance Max campaign. In a nutshell, Google Performance Max ca campaign is a new campaign type by Google that you give a lot of creatives, tags, and audience signals and then Google pretty much take care of everything after that point. Anyway, today we are going to be talking about optimizations and I'm going to be giving you five ways that you can optimize your campaigns to get better results. So today I have one campaign that is paused because I don't want to mess with it. But even you can see that we have only spent $135 and got eight conversions. And this is a real ad account for it, Creative AI that we're using and one conversion is basically a sign up on our application. So as you can see that for 135, we got eight conversions. Um, we have killed this campaign because uh, to be transparent, we were getting much better results on another performance campaign where I have optimized quite well. So that's where I want to bring you at the end of this video. Hopefully your op uh, Google Performance Max campaign is extremely optimized so that actually you can get better results. Anyway, let's go, let's get started. There is one thing, the very first one that I'm going to be talking about is unfortunately uh, not available on this ad because there's not much data, but I'm pretty much going to give you how you can do that. So basically you need to go to your Performance Max campaign and then click on your insights. When you click on your insights, if your Performance Max campaign is been running, let's say a couple of weeks, spend a couple hundred dollars depending on your location of course so it means it has quite a bit of data here you're going to be seeing uh, which audience signals that you gave to google is actually spending the most money and bringing you the most clicks or vice versa which ones are pretty much wasting your money although it brings clicks and impressions etc so that's the data you see on the insights when you have that data and let's say that one of your uh, signals that you gave while creating your Google Performance Max is not working. So one of the first optimizations you can do that can bring you super quick results is that you go to on the left side your asset group and then you click on edit asset and here basically what you can do is that you're gonna remember this page if you have a Performance Max you can pretty much edit anything on this page. So the very first thing we are gonna be talking about creatives and videos etc but on this one, on that page, on the inside page, I just want you to focus on the signals that you have. So click on the three dots and then edit audience signals. So this is the type of signals that you give to Google so it can save money. So the reason that Google is asking you to give a lot of audience signals when you're creating it is that they don't want to like go super broad, target everyone, let's say in the US. And at the end, you're gonna be spending a couple hundred dollars till Google really finds which ones are performing the best. And Google doesn't wanna do that because they know that a lot of advertisers are going to be actually cutting that campaign after a couple of days that it's not bringing any results. So what Google does is that, okay, you tell me some signals, tell me what your audience does so I can actually go and start targeting those type of people. Like, I don't know, if you have a restaurant or pizza restaurant and if you go there, write pizza lovers, etc., or people who search is pizza, Google is already gonna like narrow that audience. So let's say that you went to your uh, insights page and then you seen that one of your uh, audience signals actually bringing a lot of traffic but no conversions. For example, you're targeting people, I don't know, in, in my case, Facebook advertising. It brings me a lot of clicks, but it's not really uh, bringing in conversions, which is something you can see on your insights. In that case, I can literally take that out and I can add more stuff. So ideally, you don't wanna really take stuff and then just leave it there because in that case, Google may not have enough signals or if you have lots of signals there, maybe like in my case, I can actually take some of them and what I can do at the end is to save it. And as soon as I save it, it's going to save it on this campaign and if I want also across other campaigns. So I don't wanna save that, but that's the very first thing that you can do that brings immediate results, like for the next $10, $20, $100, whatever, you're already going to see uh, potentially more conversions or more clicks or whatever, whatever you're going after. So that's the very first one. There's a second thing that, um, that I see a lot. So people are running Google Performance Max campaigns. They have a good setup, like 15 images. In my case, three logos, two videos, five headlines, five long headlines, etc. So they pretty much give everything at maximum, which is amazing. This is what you should be doing. 
But then what I see is that usually when I go to their extensions, when I check their ad account, I see that their extensions are not well set up. So they don't have site links, call out, price, etc. So Google already tells in their documentation that if there is two uh, different clients, so two different people who advertise and one of them, so both of them are going after the same keyword, same messaging, everything is the same, but one of them has uh, extensions, which increase your optimization score quite a bit. And the other ones don't have it. Google is saying that they are gonna give the chance to the one that has extensions. Why? Because the ad is better set up. So Google thinks that that has more value to show it to the user. So it can, as an advertiser, Google wants you to get as many conversions as possible, but not at like all costs. So Google really wants to give the best experience to the people who uses Google. So that's their idea. That's why the second optimization thing you can do is to go and improve your extensions. Do you already have some extensions? Amazing, start A-B testing your extensions. So what we've done is that these four callouts that we have, I think we have tested at least 100 callouts and we pretty much on every single time we go to our inside check if the callouts actually are performing, are bringing good results and you can actually add more, delete some, test more stuff. Especially one of the best performing one usually if I'm not mistaken is the price one. So basically give people those price options. The more price options you give there, the better. And clearly some people are directly like what we've seen is that when you search, the price are actually appearing in some of the searches, especially on mobile, people actually click more on the price rather than the, the, the product name itself, because people tend to go to pricing, especially if you have something like a SaaS product. If you do some kind of B2C, most probably people are gonna be going like, what is this about first? But in the SaaS product, it's very common that people go to pricing, especially prosumer, people who know their stuff a bit. So the last three optimization methods, this is super important. Um, I gave the first two because these first two can give you immediate results. So even if you do it now, most probably tonight or tomorrow, whatever, you're gonna be getting better results. And the last three are the ones that can bring you the biggest impact. It's gonna take a bit longer time, but it's gonna definitely give you the biggest impact that can literally turn a, a campaign that is really not working at all to an amazing campaign that you want to pour on more and more budget to get more conversions. So that's like, it can really create that difference. Here's what we're gonna do. What we're gonna do is that we're gonna go to our assets group and on the assets group, we are gonna click on view details. So this is where Google is going to tell you pretty much if a creative or a text or a video, et cetera, is going to be performing good, is, is performing good or not. So as you know, on Performance Max, the idea is that Google doesn't give you a lot of options to while you create your ads. And in the meantime, they also don't really give you a lot of data on like, hey, this one is getting this much of CTR, this much is not getting, etc. Because the idea of Google Performance Max is that you give everything you can to the Google and they say that they're gonna be doing much more stuff. They have signals that are not available on the front end. So there's a lot of stuff that Google also does on the background. That's why we're not gonna have like precise what is performance, like what are we talking about CTR, are we talking about name of conversions, et cetera. But since Performance Max campaigns naturally um, are basically for conversions, so you have to select a conversion, you have to have conversions in your ad account, the performance is most probably here, the conversion. So basically what we're gonna do is that since we are in the this page, we can actually see which creatives and takes are performing and which ones are not. So basically what I'm gonna do is to start with the creatives. So as you can see, this creative seems to be performing the best. So you can click on it, it's gonna bring you the full visual. And let's go also click on something that says low. So apparently this one is not performing that much, although this one is performing a lot. So that can literally give you some uh, ideas on how you can improve your creatives. Clearly, right now the two that I'm testing is super similar, but potentially the ones that is a bit white can potentially go like, can get lost between websites and contents. And maybe this type of creative that is like uh, pink and it has a lot of colors, etc., maybe gets more attention. So again, since my creatives are super close to each other, maybe my insight could be potentially wrong. But in many of my clients, when I see their ad account, there is one creative, let's say with a person on it, that type of creatives perform amazing, while 
other types where they use a little vectoral things, they may not perform that good. They are not performing that good. And in that case, I recommend my clients to go with the ones that has like person on it. So we go to stock images, get a little person, like happy person with the application, etc. So anyway, let's say that these type of creatives are working well. In that case, it's super easy. What you can do is that if you have graphic designers internally, clearly you can go with them and design more stuff. Or if you're using it creative AI, what you need to do is super simple. You need to go and create another campaign. What you can do is that you can literally come here and fill up all these texts. Or again, as you know, we have this um, auto text AI thing. So what we can do is that let's do it very fast. In this case, it's a square. So I'm going to be writing my project description. Ad Creative AI is a SaaS platform that allows advertisers to generate conversion focused ad creatives. And then the target audience would be advertisers. So the next step, what I'm gonna do is that I can go ahead and write, but I wanna get a bit of a kickstart. So I'm gonna let the AI write most of the text for me. And then I'm going to be slightly editing those texts to make it look better. And also I need to make sure that they fit in there. So it already um, brought me some text. What I'm gonna do is that I can select more actually. Like there is a lot of them that is written. More conversions with that creative AI. So I'm just gonna write something just to keep this video short, but let's go and at least get, I love that. That should fit another exclamation mark, more conversions guaranteed. Let's go with something a bit longer here. More sales, more leads, more conversions. And here I like my CT is very precise sign up today. Okay. So the preview looks okay. On the next step, what I can do is that I can upload my background, but in this case, I'm not gonna be uploading anything. And let's say here, Facebook. So that creative looks good to me. These images are completely free, free to use. Uh, I'm going to be writing Pmax optimization project. And basically I generated my project. So what it's gonna do is that it's gonna gather all that information, go to the back end, generate all those creatives using artificial intelligence. And then it's gonna bring me, it's going to bring me all these creatives. So it brought a lot of creatives. They look amazing as always. And I'm just gonna go and if you remember like this type of ones that is not white, so that was my idea, is that they, they, they perform better. So what, what we can do is that we can go and get a bit more different. So I really like this. It already created something with those kind of colors. So what I can do is that I can directly download this creative. And if you click on it, you're going to see that it brings you a pixel perfect ad creative ready to be used in square format. And then now that the creative is ready, what I can do is again, go to the assets group on the assets group. You can click on edit assets like we've seen in the first page and then click here, edit. And what we can do is that we can go ahead and change any of those creatives. So I know that the one with the white background, this one did not really perform well. So I can actually take this out, upload the creative I want, and then literally publish this campaign. But I know that Google Performance Max performs amazing when you give a square, a landscape, and a slightly vertical creative. So what I can do, which is the best practice, is that I can click on this small button that's going to bring that square image in other formats. So what, what was the best practice square? Then you give a landscape and you also give a vertical post. So again, these creatives are also Optimize pixel perfect as you can see I also got a square one and let's also see the landscape together The landscape is also ready to be used. So since the creatives are ready I can just go to the added assets I can literally take those ones that are that were not performing for me and then don't use this image and then go and pretty much upload all the creatives that I have and then select the sizes that is something that I can do and in this example I don't want to keep it that long but that is one of the biggest thing that can bring you amazing results because let's be very transparent. Google Performance Max is, is also working on search, on Gmail, on YouTube, on many other networks. But ideally, although it's search, you will see that most of your impressions and clicks are actually coming from visual like display networks. So basically what I'm trying to say is that the more visually strong your ad setup is, the better results you're going to get. So. Unless your product don't have a product market fit, but if it doesn't, we shouldn't be here anyway. If your product has a product market fit, it's something that can sell. In that case, basically what you need to be doing is that you need to be testing a lot of creatives. 
which is one of the biggest reasons that we created at Creative AI because in 2022, what matters in the ads is really the creatives. Like you can see that Google does pretty much all the optimizations on an audience for you. Same thing for Facebook, you go to uh, auto placements and then you go a couple of interests, they keep it broad and then they find the right people for you. So there is not much for you to do. Now what you need to do, what you need to be focusing is on the creative, is on your, your storytelling. Which brings us to the next one. So let's say that we made those optimizations. Now what, what we need to be doing together is that uh, we need to be going again to the assets group and we are going to go to the view details and on the view details when you when you first arrive you're going to see a lot of headlines long headline and descriptions and you're going to see that some of them are going to be low for example $500 free Google ad credits this is something that we offer from at creative AI and we've seen pretty good results in the past on the search ads, but apparently on performance max campaigns, it doesn't necessarily perform well. So what we can do is that we can go ahead and actually add more texts to this campaign. So what I need to do is that go again on the left side asset group and then click on edit assets. It's going to bring me to the same page where I edited the images, but this time we are going to be working on the text. So what I can do is that writing these text could be really tricky. Google definitely does recommend you some stuff. But unfortunately, those are very limited. So what I want to do is that I want to use it Creative AI again. On this time, I'm going to be going to the text projects and I'm going to be creating a text project for this. So product name again, at Creative AI, output language, in this case, English. And I need a headline. And the target platform is going to be Google. That's going to slightly change the, the tone. And I'm going to again write that at Creative AI is a SaaS platform that allows advertisers to generate uh, ad creatives that sell. And now the target audience again, advertisers. And basically Pmax optimization. And basically on the next step, Ad Creative AI is going to be giving me a lot of headlines that are optimized for Google campaigns for my product. So as you can see, there's already five, six of them create ads that get results with that creative AI, generate ad converting, etc. So what I can do is that basically, I really like this. What I can do is that I can directly copy paste, but I know that Google doesn't really necessarily like, for example, uh, exclamation marks, and I can just take that out, copy it, and my headline is ready. So I know that this one wasn't performing. So what I can do is that I can go ahead and copy paste here and literally use it I publish it, which is going to go live in a couple of hours after Google checks your headline. And after that, you can actually start getting better results the next day. So that's how strong this is. So we pretty much talk about the first four and the last, the fifth one is something that most people do not realize, which is super, super important. So again, let's go back to our campaign. Let's go back to our, uh, one of our campaigns, asset groups. And actually before assets group, or let's do it on the assets group, why not? So in this example, as you can see, I have two videos. One video that is like 39 seconds, the other one is like super long. And basically what I can do here is that I can um, add as many videos as I want. In this case, I just added two. But what people do not realize is that if you do not give Performance Max campaigns a video, it's still going to create a video. So what it's gonna do is that it's gonna take your images, create some super, to be transparent, ugly, add creatives in a slight format. So your creatives are going to change one by one. So you competing with another advertiser who created a custom video just for their Google Performance Max campaigns, you cannot really race with them. You cannot really get better results compared to them because they have a video. So when a user sees two different videos, they are clearly going to go with the one that looks very professional, not with one that looked like they used I don't know, PowerPoint to make that video, right? So that's why my biggest recommendation is that if you're creating a Google Performance Max campaign, you can go to a lot of platforms such as Fiverr, such as Upwork. So you can go to some freelance platforms, literally for 15, 20, 30 or $50, you can actually get a pretty nice video for whatever you're selling. And as soon as you get that video, I definitely recommend you to go to YouTube, upload it, come here, and then you need to be adding it on your YouTubes, which should be somewhere around here. 
So this is super important. As you can see, I'm adding more and more videos, which is which are used on different performance max campaigns along this one. And it's extremely important to do that because don't forget that performance max is also working on, let's say YouTube and some other display networks where Google has a placement for videos. And as you know, videos also perform as good as the single image creators. And in most cases, they even perform more depending on what you're selling, of course. So these are kind of the five ways to optimize uh, your Google performance campaign in 2022. So these are something that we already use and do in our agency that brings better results. And one of the reasons that we created that creative AI is that we allow you to actually generate many creatives in a matter of seconds. And these creatives are generated by AI that is just for conversions. And so all the aspects on this creative, such as how big the font should be, where is the button should be, etc., are decided by the AI thanks to all the learnings that it has from millions of ad creatives that brings amazing results to, to their advertisers. So that's a creative project. And then again, recently we added this text projects part, which literally you've seen that it helps you generate those headlines to give you an idea or most of the time copy paste and directly use it because they're good to go. So that's going to be it. If you have any questions, comment below. I definitely go in there and answer them. And if you do not have a Google Performance Max campaign, again, we have another video on that. And if you're not advertising on Google, we also have $500 free credits. As soon as you sign up to Ad Creative AI and try to connect your ad account, you will see a button there that you can create an ad account and get $500 ad uh, credits. And pretty much, as you can imagine, when you publish a Google Performance Max campaign, the first $500 is going to be free. It's going to be on us. So that's it. Go ahead and try it. If you have any questions, again, I'll be on the comments. I'll be answering all of them. Thank you.